All right, so we're visiting the grave of the famous or infamous Bill Miner. He was one of the last outlaws of the West that was truly famous for being an outlaw. And when I was there, I went through a lot of the cemetery that you're going to see in the video coming up. And I talked and shared a lot and got towards the end of the video to realize I hadn't turned the audio on. So you'll hear that conversation at the end of the video. So I decided, hey, I might as well at least make a simple intro for you guys to explain what's going on, why it might be a little different. Yeah, so let's get into the video. And before we do, I'd like to say thank you. If this is your first time here, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, you know, doing all those things. And if this isn't your first time here, hey, welcome back. Let's get into the video. On December 27th, 1846, Ezra Allen Miner was born in a township in Ingham County, Michigan. He was arrested for the first time in 1866 at the age of 20 in San Quentin County, California, and served time there. He was shortly released, but served more time at Placer County, California, and later at Cavalleras County, California. He was discharged in 1880. He then formed a partnership with Bill Leroy. Also, his name was W.A. Morgan, and they had planned to rob a stagecoach. Bill was called and lynched, but Miner escaped. He was later caught for another robbery in another county in California, and then was released from San Quentin in 1901. So he was born in 1846, and by 1901, he had been in and out of the prison system in California, it seems like, a lot. After his third prison term, Miner moved to British Columbia, Canada, where he adopted the pseudonym George Edwards, and was for the longest believed to have staged uh, British Columbia's first ever train robbery on September 10th, 1904, but... Now, looking, you know, knowing more about the history up there, there's another robbery that took place 30 years prior, which disputes the claim he was first. Miner was eventually caught after a botched payroll train robbery near Cam Loops at Monte Creek, then known as Ducks. Choosing their own car, they managed to only rob $15, plus a bottle of kidney pills that Miner picked up off the shelf. Miner and his two accomplices, Tom and Lewis, were located near Douglas Lake after an extensive manhunt. A posse surrounded them while they were lunching in the woods. Miner presented himself as George Edwards and claimed that he and his cohorts were prospectors. The officer in charge of the posse suspected he had encountered the train-robbing gang and challenged the claim, putting them under arrest. Dunn attempted to fire at the police, and he was shot in the leg. He gave up soon after because he was shot in the leg. And Lewis was disarmed by an officer standing nearby, and Miner never drew his weapon. Miner's arrest and subsequent trial caused a media spectacle. Apparently, the most damning evidence against him was a bottle of kidney pills that Miner had picked up during the train robbery. Upon his conviction, he, Dunn, and Lewis were transported by train to the penitentiary in New Westminster, by that time, his celebrity status had risen to the point that the tracks were reportedly lined with throngs of supporters. While serving time in the B.C. Penitentiary, Miner escaped in 1907 and was never recaptured in Canada. He moved back to the U.S., becoming once again involved in robberies in the South around Gainesville in 1909. There he served more prison time and escaped twice. Miner is also credited with the outlaw who coined the phrase, hands up. He died in the prison farm at Milledgeville, Georgia, of gastritis, contracted from drinking brackish water during his previous escape attempt. All right, that's it. The grave of Bill Miner. And what I just realized is, you're going to know this, but I didn't until now, that the, uh, the microphone wasn't on. Makes me feel really, really good. Not like a professional. That's something a professional would do. And then they forget to turn their microphone on. So yeah, there it is. Bill Miner, the last of the famous Western bandits. Put like hands up. How cool, right? So yeah, thanks for watching. God, these mosquitoes, they are terrible over here. So thanks for watching. Oh, that's why I'm cutting it short. I can't thank you guys enough. Like I said, well, actually, you're not going to hear what I said. But I was uh, talking about how... Uh, 
I appreciate it and all that stuff in the intro, but you're not even going to hear it because I didn't turn the thing on. See ya. Professionals. Professional work here. Bill Miner, last of the outlaws. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. You never know what you're going to find on the back roads. I'll see you guys later.